cotton a walnut patch. Job. A whole bunch of big walnut on here. Probably not the first thing you want to do with the uh, new machine, but uh, it is what it is. So it don't nothing else really matters there. Thought you guys were right along. Take a look. Sorry about the shaky video. Is what it is. <clears throat> it's amazing how many limb logs you can save in this thing because you let the tree down so easy that it doesn't hurt nothing so you end up saving more limb logs than you would ever imagine trimming's not bad with it too just about getting it in the right spot but you can trim pretty close some of this stuff you'll see me not trim very well because I'll just pull it through the delimmer but too much crank because it's my first job with this thing so if you see me screw something up don't tell the boss man we'll rub some dirt on it mostly walnut like 80 some thousand feet here I don't like is when you run the saw the grapple automatically closes so some stuff when you're trying to hold on to it trim it it squeezes it too tight and pinches the bar but mm, other than that a couple other little things but nothing horrible that's the other thing I save I save a lot of time in the landing by trimming the stuff up out here so I don't have to do it with the buck saw because the buck saw head does not move like this does of course but uh yeah yeah oh I got ha ah. Can. 
uh, people have been asking for videos, so I figured Saturday would be a good day for a video. Trim the butts up. Got this little walnut patch here. We're going to cut. Hopefully get all of it on video. I don't know. See how long I want to video. It's how much stuff I screw up. I don't want to put on video. It happens to all of us. Stop. Some of these big ones, I might be able to make it all the way through, but I cut from the other side just so I don't screw it up. This thing rips out brush like nothing. take a little pressure off them seems like you got to cut it all the way and then it sits down and you gotta lift up and cut it again cut the last little bit that you didn't get and if you put too much pressure on them they kind of split but that's mostly on the smaller trees like the firewood trees and stuff but if you like too much pressure on them at one thing they split foggy in there. I got a skylight camera over there that you can't see. But... on their crotch, then they won't split. Cut them so low, they they spur out so much that you gotta make sure you cut, get all the way through it, or it's gonna strip the tree. And walnuts, of course, you want to cut low. So it's, some of them I've been cutting a little bit in on the other side, and then what I do is go around to the other side and just cut it off, and that way they don't split. See, but there's walnut 
everywhere laid out out there. We haven't skidded anything because, well, it's a little wet. That's the good thing about this rain, sunshine, wind. Yesterday it was windy. And I worked all day where usually we probably wouldn't work when it's blowing 60, probably 46, I don't know. Windy, I know that. Can't even notice it in this thing. I mean, you grab a big tree, you'll notice it a little bit, but. Other than that. So all I'm doing here is, on these loader trees, slop top them. That's what some of the other loggers call it, but. Um, Cause I can pull these through the delimmer. So instead of having all that brush out in the field, I'll just have some sticks and stuff, a little bit of brush to clean up. And they pull a lot better through the mud that way. So let's cut halfway through this one and then walk around to the other side. Turn that thing over. Ooh. Yeah, good thing we got a big spur on this one. the bar saw instead of a hot saw is because where I log people are picky about the wood and how it's trimmed and how it's cut and yada 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 and with the bar saw you can trim a lot better than a hot saw cut a lot lower and do a lot more things I guess don't get me wrong, there's days where I wish I bought a hot saw, days where you're switching chains and bars and the whole nine yards, but I'm pretty happy with it so far. It is a used bar head on a new machine, but I'm supposedly going to be getting the new one here soon, hopefully, uh, sooner than later, because this one has been driving me nuts. The bar, or the motor, bolts keep coming loose, and it's twerking the the bar See what I mean? This head needs to go. Oh, uh, halfway through a nice walnut. Not okay. Let me get this bar uh, chain back on, huh? I'm gonna be one pissed off person when that tree falls over. You guys don't need to watch this. Ah, back to him. No idea why that it's never chains fell off, but it's never stopped sawing. Must have been something in the truck or something. I don't know. Ah, let's finish cutting this. 
match up my hole. Seems to be the problem sometimes. Too bad though. Tire cat, one thing I got good heaters and good air conditioners. God, net, it's getting warm in here. because then you can see right through the opening there. I can, uh, I doubt you can, but that's the way you can trim them the closest. There's a couple other ways, but this is definitely the most comfortable way. Like that. A couple more here I need to trim.
about it, like, why don't you just pull that through the delimiter? Because I don't pull 20 inch trees through my delimiter because it won't last very long if I do. So, I'll pull it like 16 inches smaller through it. So I try to trim at least the first 20 feet and then the last whatever, whatever's left, I'm not so anxious about trimming because it is faster to go through the delimiter with the knuckle boom.
out of breath. Good to go. I just gotta remember what I was doing. Sapwood's like in it, not nah, piece of firewood. That's just a piece of firewood anyway. This one might make a log. I don't know, not too many people under that 12 inch stuff right now. No one really likes it. Not what it used to be. You pull the sticks out of the woods and make money on them. Let's see if we can reach that one. There's one thing about these things, I got a ton of reach. Thank you. 